It's time. It's time. It's time. Rest in peace, Dr. Charles Stanley. Born September 25th, 1932. Died April 18th, 2023. He was a Southern Baptist pastor, the founder of In Touch Ministries, which broadcast nationwide and international. Now I'm going to be talking about the things I learned from Dr. Charles Stanley and just pretty much what I liked about him. It's not really nothing I disliked about him, but I'm going to be focusing on, you know, my experience of watching him and learning from him and the things that I learned from him. And I'm going to say this. Okay. I respect everybody's religion. Whether you're Christian like I am, whether you're Muslim, whether you're a Buddhist, whether you're Pentecostal, whether you're Jewish, whether you're an atheist. I just want to say everyone is welcome to this channel and I respect everybody's beliefs, everybody's opinions. Everybody is welcome. But back to Dr. Charles Stanley. When I was a teenager, I used to always flick through the channels and I would always come to one of his sermons. He'll be talking. And he had a very calm, cool, and collective way of doing his sermons. And his sermons were 30 minutes. That's what I liked about him. He was short and to the point. And I didn't start following him until YouTube became big. And because I used to follow Joe Osteen, I used to follow him heavy. And then one day I seen one of his videos. I'm like, this is the guy that I always see when I'm flicking through the channels. So I watched one of his sermons. And the name of the sermon was De Dealing with Temptation Wisely. And the main thing I got from that was consequences. I learned from Dr. Charles Stanley to always put those consequences first before you do anything. If you make that decision, what will be the consequences today, tomorrow, this day next year, what will be those consequences? Because after every decision is consequences. And during tough times in my life, I will listen to In Touch Ministries, which I still do every morning. I'll listen to the daily devotion and I'll listen to a a quick sermon. Either a sermon that he did that Sunday or he has a 24-7 radio. It's all in the In Touch Ministry app. Check it out. But the main thing I learned from Charles Stanley was to put the consequences first. Another thing I learned from him was having my own prayer corner. I learned to accomplish everything in prayer on my knees to God.
And I can say that one of his quotes that I like, his sayings was, think your best, look your best, be your best. And he emphasized the importance of trusting God. This man lived to 90 years old. If he lived to 90 years old, he had to do something right. He was three years younger than my grandfather when he passed. Rest in peace, Charles Polite. Charles Stanley gave it to you, cool, calm, and collected. Smooth. He told you straight up, if you ain't a believer, it ain't going to work. He told you straight up. He talked from his experience. And he was an older man. He came from the old school. And he stayed the same. The same Charles Stanley that started the ministry was the same Charles Stanley through and through. And that's what I respect about him. I was able to watch his funeral last Saturday and it had me thinking like this man accomplished a lot. He never was braggadocious. He never was egotistical. He wanted to please God. He left a legacy in God. As y'all know, I talk about legacy a lot on this channel. Because at the end of the day, what you leave behind, that's the only thing that matters. Charles Stanley was able to build and build and build the kingdom of God. He had a love for photography. He enjoyed helping people. He enjoyed living for God. And he was able to live till 90 years old. He lived with purpose. That's what I learned from his life. I didn't follow him for very long. I would say I started looking at his sermons. Probably 2009. Off and on. But he was my favorite television pastor. Television preacher. And I'm not going to lie. I actually was looking forward to going to his church one day and meeting him. I might still go to his church. Who knows? But I want to say thank you, Charles Stanley. Thank you, Charles Stanley. Thank you, Charles Stanley, for your work. And all the people that's a part of In Touch Ministries, keep the legacy going. Moment of silence for Dr. Charles Stanley. Rest in peace, Dr. Charles Stanley. Rest in peace, Dr. Charles Stanley. Rest in peace, Dr. Charles Stanley. Thank you for living a life of purpose in God. Enjoy your day and enjoy the rest of your week and enjoy your day and learn from the life of Dr. Charles Stanley. Check out In Touch Ministries. Enjoy your day and your